Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an extension for HTML5 or JavaScript extension for GameMaker. Why we should use HTML5 extension for GameMaker, how we can use it and why we should use it, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. You can see in here I did create a project, empty project, and now I want to show you how you can create a HTML5 extension. Let's talk about why we should use HTML5 extension. Some functions in GameMaker won't work in HTML5 game, and I don't know why, but if you remember, I did create a video series about how you can create a multiplayer game, and if you run it in HTML5, sometimes it doesn't work, and that's why you need to create a extension for your game and there are there are some time for example you want to create an nft game that i want to create a series video series for that how you can have a nft game you there is not a function that you can use to create an nft gaming game maker but if you learn how to create a html5 extension with that you can create an nft game so players can buy a nft character and that character is just their own character nobody can buy it anymore and they will pay you with real money and now let's just find out how we can create a html5 extension so for that you can see i did create a empty project in here first thing to do just go to extension right click and create an extension here okay i want to call it my html5 extension okay or what whatever you want to call it first thing to do you should unselect all of this but the html5 okay and after that go here add a placeholder placeholder and add a js placeholder okay i don't want to change its name so double click on it you can change its name but don't do it it's okay and in here change deselect everything but the html5 okay know that we have done that if you right click on your extension and open it in explorer let me show you it will create a .js file and it will create .yby file what you need is just this myhtml5 extension so for that let's just open up this myhtml5 extension with visual studio code okay so let's just bring up visual studio code like this and drag and drop it in here now we have an empty javascript file okay because GameMaker language and JavaScript file is JavaScript language is much like each other. You already knows a lot about JavaScript. Okay, so for creating variable, you can just say var. If you watch my videos about multiplayer game, you know a lot by now. So for example, I want to create a function in here. I want to name it add. Okay, and for input, I want to add two value, value one and value two right and in here i want to create a variable i want to call it result and in this result i want to equal it with value one plus value two okay so we have the result so let's just return the result okay and that's all you need to do in this js file for adding two value together it's just a simple function but in future videos i will show you how you can um, for example, send a map over UDP function in this JS file and how you can return whatever that is coming from the server to an async event in GameMaker. Just subscribe to my channel, please. So now that we have this function, let's just go to our GameMaker and add that to our GameMaker by clicking in here on functions and add the function. The name of this is important. The name of this in here doesn't matter much, but the name of this external name is important. So this name should be exactly the same name that you put in here okay so next thing is this help so i want to do it like this you can you can just ignore it but always it is better to have some help okay value one and value two it's just for help okay you could just say v2 and we want like this okay you can do it like this the return type i want it to be double because we are returning a real number right so we add two input argument zero and argument one both of them are double so we are finished we did create our extension and we can create an object and test it out okay let's just create an object in here i want to call it obj test and in here add a draw event draw gui for example and in here i want to say draw text okay i want to draw this text and 10 and 10 and i want to show the result okay but before showing the result i want to use that function to add two variable together okay so i can say var rslt for result is equal to zero at the beginning okay and the rslt is equal adding 
value 1 and value 2 for example 10 and 20 okay and this function add these two value and put it in result and now we can show that result by a string with a string we convert it to a string right and r s l t for result and now it should show it to us okay but before doing that let's just go to our room and add this object to our room right everything is finished but for running our game you should go here and instead of checking windows you should check html5 because we want to create a game for web right so html5 and now we can run our game and you can see it show us 13 here so our function is working correctly right if you go to here and go to more tool and go to developer tool in here you can see it will give you a lot of information in here if there is any problem it will show it in here just you should be in console i want to show you another thing in here because you will do a lot of things in this console and it's like output in game maker but when you are dealing with javascript file you always should know about this this console in here on here just click on console and you will have this okay so for example uh, first of all i want to show the result in here in our console we say console dot log and i want to log out the result and i want to say it like this result is plus result okay let's just do it like this save it and now again let's just go to our game maker and run our game let's just open up our develop developer tools in here and now you can see it says the result is 13 so you you, you will use this console.log a lot when you are dealing with a html5 game okay in the next video i will show you how you can send a map to our javascript file so for example you want to send that map to a server and receive something from server and access it in game maker in an async event so please hit that subscribe button and if you want to help me hit that like button as well thank you very much for watching bye